Well, I think if we're talking about the mail-in ballots, if uh, people mail in ballots, there's a lot of illegality. Michigan citizen has a right to vote by mail. It's a right that was enshrined in our state constitution by our voters in November of 2018. And so I have a responsibility as the chief election officer for the state of Michigan to ensure everyone knows how to exercise the right to vote and all the options avail available to them to ensure that happens. Himself has voted just two months ago by a mail-in ballot. There are several Republican states that are also doing these mail-in applications for ballots. And so I'm confused, what is it that he thinks is illegal that's happening in Michigan? He doesn't really so, specify. So first, with regard to the president doing a mail-in vote, um, the president is, after all, the president, which means he's here in Washington. He's unable to cast his vote down in Florida, his, res his state of residence. Uh, so for him, that's why he had to do a mail-in vote. But he supports mail-in vote for a reason, when you have a reason that you are unable to be present, there's right now we're very far from November 3rd. I would, I'm glad that you have the prediction tool and you can tell us what will be happening on November 3rd, 2020. I certainly don't, nor does the president. They harvest ballots, you know all about harvesting, and they do lots of bad things. Voting by mail is safe and is secure. It's been done by millions of voters for decades in states throughout our country, including in Michigan. On top of this 100-year event, we have a 500-year event in a flood that has absolutely devastated uh, a lot of families, a lot of community, you know, a lot of parts of this community. To see Twitter this morning and to see rhetoric like that is disheartening because I think it first shows you that there maybe was a lack of understanding of what the Secretary of State was doing. She said we're going to mail applications, not mail ballots, mail applications. Um, and I would appreciate any federal partnership that wants to stay focused on solving problems and, and not get into politics. We got to take politics out of this crisis moment.